Hey friends, how's it going? Uh, sorry. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, one more bi biology video. Uh, and then next time will be a history video. And then after that, the next biology video. So, um, let's get started on today's. Ever since Jaws, sharks have been pretty much vilified, uh, especially in America and Western, uh, in the Western cultures. Uh, so, fear of these wonderful creatures, uh, it goes unfounded for the most part. Uh, uh, the great white, which Jaws had uh, represented, which was the shark in Jaws, uh, their appetite for humans were misrepresented in that franchise. Um, camera angle was a little wonky. Probably didn't fit too much. Oh well. Uh, anyway, uh, the st statistics for sharks show a completely different picture when it comes to uh, their. Uh, appetite. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's only a few people a year are killed that's killed by sharks. Uh, whereas people kill hundreds, uh, at least a hundred million. Uh, and for something that does not reproduce all that quickly, uh, that can be a problem. Uh, so, uh, to start with, I'm going to go over some, some of their general biology. Uh, sharks are cartilaginous fish unlike uh, bony fish that you most people are aware of the raised skates or not raised skates the uh, ray fin fish uh, so bass catfish bluegill uh, trout salmon and those are all bony fish their their uh, their bones are calcified or ox uh, uh, ossified uh, sharks and raised skates uh, the whole class, they're not, their bones are uh, made almost entirely of cartilage, uh, with the exception of their teeth. That is the one thing that is ossified. Um, their bones can be rather primitive. This is a, uh, this is a shark vertebrae. So, here in the center is where the uh, spinal column would have went through. Uh, they are thin, round disc. Uh, and that's basically what they had. Uh, they were concave on both sides instead of having the uh, the so joint and socket. There's a cow behind me. That's probably what you're hearing. Um, if you if that comes through the uh, the thing. So as far as fossilization for shark teeth or sharks, most of the sh most of the fossils are teeth and not uh, bones. So that is a fossil, and that is clearly a, fossil, uh, a vertebrae. So it does happen. This is this would have been not a large shark, so it's not like a megalodon large, but it is a. Uh, it's not wouldn't have been a small shark either. Um, but yeah, so their 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 bones are uh, made almost entirely of cartilage. Um, their skin is however covered in what are called denticles which are a tooth-like structure that uh, that gives them the ability to swim smoother through the water it gives less drag uh, due to the shape of those which are uh, somewhat aerodynamic coyotes are howling um, they do not have swim bladders uh, like most of the bony fish have uh, instead their liver is uh, extremely large and is and contains uh, a lot of oil uh, this helps with buoyancy somewhat uh, though it does not uh, rectify that entirely what does rectify what helps is a uh, continuous movement uh, some sharks uh, can be uh, can 
stop moving, they have uh, the ability to pump water through their gills, much like rays can. But the famous sharks, uh, great whites, uh, makos, that kind of thing, do not have that ability, so they have to continue to swim. Uh, they, um, sorry, I have notes. Uh, so as far as their reproduction, uh, it is an internal uh, re uh, fertilization. Uh, sharks are uh, can be both uh, ovi ovi oviparous and oviviparous. Uh, so oviparous sharks lay eggs. Basically, they're uh, sometimes called mermaid purses. They are can be somewhat unique looking. Um, oviviparous sharks uh, retain the eggs inside, much like something like a rattlesnake or other slate snakes. Uh, the 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 eggs are contained inside and are and develop inside the the body of the uh, of the shark. Once those eggs hatch, they are then expelled. Uh, but they are not necessarily like a live birth. Uh, that is called viviparous. They are a few select species of sharks that are that is viviparous. They, uh, which is what mammals are. Uh, However, they're not entirely like mammals. Um, so, uh, they do feed off nutrition from the mother's blood, uh, but instead of it being through just the placenta itself, it does come through a, the, a yolk sac placenta. Uh, and uh, when, it, when they, the term is due, they are then born. Um, sharks do have six senses. Taste is... Uh, for taste, unlike uh, humans whose taste buds are uh, confined entirely to their tongue, sharks have taste buds uh, in their mouth and they can be somewhat sensitive. Uh, their sense of smell is amazing. Uh, some estimates are one part per million uh, as far as blood. Now they are attracted to all forms of bodily, bodily secretions or bodily fluids and not just uh, blood. Uh, urine and that kind of thing can attract them as well. Uh, they have a extremely sensitive, they're extremely sensitive to touch, especially along their snout. Uh, you'll see them often uh, in videos, and uh, you may have I've had it happen to me once or twice when I've been at the at the beach in the ocean where a shark has come up and bumped you, and they'll do they'll oftentimes do that. They'll they'll come up and just bump and swim off. It's not an attack. Uh, because their skin does contain teeth-like structures, it can be somewhat painful, and it can possibly call it draw blood, but uh, it's kind of like sandpaper, basically. So if they hit you hard enough and at the right angle, it can cause it like a rash, basically. Um, uh, they, their sight, it varies from species to species, but in most of these senses, I'm just doing a generalization and it's not a specific, but sharks do usually have a uh, pretty keen uh, sense of sight or a pretty good eyesight. Uh, however, when they are living in, or whenever they're hunting in murky water, instead of, uh, they don't use their sight that often and they rely more on their other senses, their other five senses. Um, so, uh, as far as hearing, their entire body is dedicated to, basically almost their entire body is dedicated to hearing. Um, they'll have pores along the, the face that work uh, as uh, pressure uh, receptors. Uh, they a lot, sometimes will have ear openings, but they do not have eardrums or... Uh, they don't. They do not have eardrums or uh, the bones in ears uh, that make up the inner ears as humans do uh, in other mammals. Um, so basically, the in the water, uh, sound itself is basically just pressure, and it's our way to detect pressure waves. So, um, or sound waves, uh, and sound does create pressure waves. So. What they'll do, uh, they'll have the lateral line along their body, which are which is basically just fluid spilled uh, pores that uh, that'll have it has hairs in them, and uh, that 
picks up the uh, different pressures when a fish is struggling and it's you know swimming it'll detect that movement through the lateral line and the uh, other senses of the hearing and they all do all connect to the um, basically the auditory, auditory uh, senses part of the brain um, they uh, just want to make sure I covered all that I do have notes to uh, help me out here so uh, now for their sixth sense now their sixth sense is somewhat unique and I would consider amazing myself so along their snout and I'll show a picture uh, Here. Uh, but along their snout there is a uh, what's called the ampulla of Lorenzini uh, now these are small fluid filled uh, pores that are receptors for um, electromagnetic electromagnetic fields which are produced from the muscle movement uh, in an animal so let's say you're in the water and you get uh, you get cut bloods coming and uh, your basic swimming uh, you're treading water your basic movement in the water creates electricity so once this shark gets closer to you they can detect that electricity the blood will draw them in the pressure of you splashing and trying to swim will draw them in uh, once they get a little closer and then the uh, your electrical signals that your muscles are putting off even your heart they can detect that and uh, so that sounds scary now, I got a cat walking around this path although that sounds scary it's again they do not normally cause much trouble hey Taj what are you doing um, so they're um, their diet varies from species to species. Uh, the largest sharks, the whale sharks, basking sharks, uh, that kind of thing, they uh, feed almost entirely on plankton. Uh, and most do not actually have teeth, and if they are, they're, they're minute. Uh, some have other uh, prey specialty, uh, but uh, they... Uh, <laughs> Tell them hi. But anyway, the, uh, they do special, some specialize in other prey, uh, some are more generalized. The heat pump kicks on at this time. Uh, and their size varies. Uh, everything from the 40 foot whale shark, uh, which is the largest living shark, uh, the largest shark on record, that, I'm almost positive the largest shark itself on record uh, which I'll be going over in my next biology video is the megalodon uh, estimations are between 50 to 60 feet on those uh, but whale sharks are 40 feet um, and then it goes the small sharks are a foot or two uh, small dogfish um, so um, as my channel goes on I will go over uh, sharks individually and uh, from species to species. Uh, sorry, he's Taz is hyper. <laughs> but uh, at the moment, I am going to show some different teeth. Uh, and go over basically their speciality. So, this is a fossil, and uh, for the life of me, I cannot remember the scientific name of this. This is what has come to be known as snaggle snaggle tooth shark they are um, a few uh, living examples of these uh, but there's a lot of well, a lot of them in the fossil record um, okay so this these two I've got two they are an extinct species of tiger shark now you can always tell a tiger shark because the tooth will be curved over the modern species has a more prominent curve and uh, the, there's a, uh, a more of a ridge that comes up on the tooth. It's uh, a little different. So basically, 
uh, though they're different teeth. Basically, on the tooth, or on in the shark's mouth, one would be going this way, the other this way. Tiger sharks, modern tiger sharks are considered to be, um, they're considered to be trash sharks, not trash sharks, but they'll eat anything. Uh, there's been a lot of trash uh, found in those. Uh, however, their teeth does point to a, speci a specialty uh, as a specialty feeder. In particular, turtles, sea turtles. Uh, the tiger shark's teeth are very good for eat for them eating sea turtles. Uh, tiger sharks do live in the tropics, uh, and uh, basically their teeth are very sharp and work somewhat like a saw. So when they'll grab the, the turtle, they'll twist their head back and forth, which will cut through the shell along with their bite force and uh, basically the, sh the shell does not stop a uh, tiger shark. Um, we have a couple more teeth in here. Um, okay. So a species of shark, if it specializes in hunting fish, almost like everything that specializes in hunting fish, it will be small and generally straight. Uh, there are several species this could be, uh, anything from a sand tiger to uh, modern mako has just teeth similar to this. Uh, I'm not that well versed on shark teeth. Uh, I do know this came from Morocco around the, uh, around the Cretaceous period. Uh, so that, I would have to do some research to find, but they, this is a small tooth but it is for feeding on fish. Um, now, this is a mako tooth, um, an ex what they call an extinct mako tooth. So this is basically a tooth that came along prior to the great whites. The great whites have a tooth very similar to this, uh, especially their bottom teeth. But great whites have a serration along the edge of the tooth, along the edges of the tooth where this one does not. Um, you find these a lot in, uh, if my camera's falling, I do apologize for that. But you find these a lot in, uh, along the ocean, uh, especially uh, North Carolina, Florida, those kind of places. And then this is a very small example of a meg tooth. Now you can always you can tell a meg tooth about a black stripe that comes up along this way. This is, again, this is a small example. Uh, I will show my large example uh, in my Meg video. And again, I'm losing light. <laughs> but this did get a, get a little bit more rambly than I wanted to on the end. But uh, that is the... Um, that is my video. Uh, I did get distracted by the cat. But anyway, um, you all have a great day, or a great evening, whenever it is you watch this. Uh, leave the frog alone, Kaz, and uh, stay safe, uh, and just have fun. Good night.